Hi, this is Don McAllister, and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online for iOS. Following on from last week's introduction to iOS 9, I'll be continuing this week with a further look at the new features of Apple's new operating system. This week I'll take a look at one of the most controversial features of iOS 9, and that's the inclusion of content blocking technology in mobile Safari. I'll also be taking a look at the two new productivity modes for the iPad, that's the slide over and split view modes. Before that though, let's take a look at some of the changes introduced to mobile Safari in iOS 9. So let's start by opening up Safari. Uh, there are no real major cosmetic changes, to be honest. Uh, functionality is pretty much as in iOS 8. And don't forget all the iOS 8 shows are still available if you want to drill down into a bit more detail on some of the applications, including Safari. Uh, I'll show you some of the um, minor changes and then we'll get on to oh, a fairly big change, which is the content blocker. But uh, some minor changes to begin with. First off, if I go into, uh, well, let's go to the BBC, say. If I go to my news folder, let me pop that out of the way. If I go to News, if I go to BBC News and open a BBC article, uh, the Reader View is still available. There are some minor changes. If I tap on Reader View, uh, we've got the options now to change the font size, so I can make the font bigger or smaller, uh, sepia and some dark modes as well, and then some new uh, text fonts. Okay, so that's the changes to the Reader View. Uh, there is a nice change as well in that you can now capture a web page as a PDF and save it directly into iBooks uh, in a single tap. And the way we would do that, well, I'll use this particular view. Let me go back to the white view. I'll leave it in San Francisco. So we've got several pages of text here. Uh, I mean, I could bookmark this, but let's say I want to keep a permanent record in iBooks for research purposes or to read later. What I can do is tap on the Share button and then if I just scroll across, you'll see we've got this new option here now to save PDF to iBooks. Tap on there, that will generate the PDF, and there it is in iBooks. So we've now got a five-page PDF, safely stored away. Uh, I can sync this with uh, iTunes on the Mac as well if I want to. There we go, that's our PDF saved. So if I tap on here, let's go back to Safari using the back button in the top left-hand corner. Uh, there is another change as well. If I come out of Read of View, so if I tap the icon there, it comes out of Read of View. Now, for the next minor change, I'm going to switch across to Notes. I've got a few things in here that I've typed in. Right, so I've got this uh, uh, two lines of text. One is a URL and one is just a piece of text. What I can do is I can actually copy these now. So if I use the, well, with Apollo 7 highlighted, if I go to the uh, Copy tab and tap Copy, right, I've now copied that piece of text into my clipboard. If I go back across to Safari, and then if I tap and hold in the URL bar, you'll see we get this new option now. Because it's not a URL, it's just a piece of text, it actually enables me to paste and search in one single tap. So paste in Apollo 7 and gives me all the uh, results from that search. Now, if you do copy a URL, if I go back to here, if I just tap and hold here, and let's uh, select, actually do this manually rather than using the the keyboard. Okay, if I select that particular URL, I'll say copy, back across to Safari, now tap and hold in the uh, URL bar. Now because it's recognized it as a URL, it's giving me the option to paste and go, tap paste and go, it takes me straight to that URL. Okay, so they're just some minor changes uh, for Safari. The big change though is the addition of a thing called a content blocker. So just what is a content blocker? To get the full version of this tutorial completely for free, as well as immediate access to over 500 other Apple-related tutorials, all you need to do is visit seofree.com to register for your 14-day, no-obligation, free trial Screencasts Online membership. So that's seofree.com to register for your 14-day free trial membership. <laughs> 